Hey guys, it is Super Mind 49 back for another video. And as you can guys tell what's in my hands right now, I got the PS5. This is a not a fake box, it's 100% legit. So so let's take a look at the box. So as you can see right here, uh, it has really good graphics because it's got 8K, uh, 4K, and then it has HDR on it. And uh, we go to the back here and this uh, thing has 825 gigabytes of storage, so a lot more storage than the PS4. I think it had like 500, I don't know. But uh, there's the rating right there, if you're wondering. It's E for everyone. Uh, and yeah, so it's like very fast, as you can see. Uh, this is gonna be uh, a really, probably like really good graphics. And there's just a side there. Nothing really interesting about that. that. So, yeah, and uh, as we're unboxing this, I have my PS4 controller right here. So I'm going to be comparing the PS4 controller to the PS5 controller. So if you want to see the comparison to those two controllers, then stick around in this video. So, yeah, let's get to unboxing so, uh, it. Now I got the sticky part open, so now we're going to start opening it. So we're going to open up this flap right here, and I'm going to have to set this down. All right, so the PS5 is in this exact box. So we're gonna open that. Wow. So we might have to spray this down. Wait, hold on. Maybe not. All right. Sorry about the noises, guys. Uh, so here's the first box right here, uh, which has uh, like the instructions and everything, so you could like set it up safety guide uh what else oh and this is the base right here so like uh if i can get this open yeah here we go so uh this is the base so like if you want to stand it up just like in the picture in the first clip but if you also want to like put it horizontally which i'm going to be doing because i'm not going to be like sitting up just for safety reasons uh you still have to put this base on so i'm going to put that on as we're setting this up and uh hdmi cord just in case if you don't have one but i already have an hdmi cord so but i might use this in the future for something else and uh i assume that this would be the power cord so set that over there for now and right here uh there's also the controller charger in there yeah right there uh as you can see right here. Now the controller charger is different uh, from like what actually like what the like uh, the PS4 controller charger is. It's kind of like an Android charger. If you have an Android charger, then you would know exactly what the PS4 charger looked like. But this is completely different, so you cannot use this to charge this controller. And uh, yeah, so now we're going to get into the comparison. So this is the actual. Uh, Dual Shock 5 controller. When I'm holding it, it feels a lot different, and the joysticks are like a lot stiffer. So that's good. As for like this, it's very like not stiff at all. It's, it's like very loose. And the buttons for this, uh, they're clear now. They're not colored, just like the PS4 controller. And the triggers, they're a lot stiffer as well. And uh, the the like. Like the PlayStation button is like, it's like actually the logo and you can see it's lighting up right there. As for uh, this, this is just a normal button. I'm not gonna push that because that's gonna turn my PlayStation 4. So uh, yeah, in the back, you know, nothing really special about that. So yeah, so the controllers for the PS4 and the PS5, like this one's a lot bigger and uh, it feels different. It feels a lot different. And I think there's actually like a microphone built into this controller, if I'm correct. We're going to have to try it out someday. But that might be for another video. So now, I think in here is the actual PS5. So I'm going to need help taking this out here. So, oh, this is very big. All right. So we're going to take off the styrofoam here. And we're actually going to take this out of the wrapping. And wow, this is a lot bigger. It feels kind of like a PC, like 
the size of like a PC tower. So, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So like right here, this is the front. So this is like, where you like turn on, on everything. So like, and I assume this is to like eject. Yeah, so this is the power button. And I assume that would be what you use to eject like your disc because I did get the disc version. As you guys know, there's two versions, the disc version and the and like the digital version, which is cheaper, but I was able to get my hands on the disc version. So that's good since I have like some of my games on disc that like I play on like a daily basis. And on the back here, uh, you see that would be where the uh, power cord goes. And then right there is the HDMI cord. And then that's an ethernet, I assume. And I guess there's two more USBs in the back. I'm not sure what this is for, but I mean, we'll have to figure that out. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff to uh, figure out here. It's a new console, obviously. So a lot of uh, like setting up to do. Oh yeah, and also like on the uh, PS4, you have uh, two USBs in the front, but on this, there's only one right here. And then you have actually two more on the back as you can see right there. So uh, yeah, so this is the PS5. Uh, there's, a, there's my fingerprints on it now because it's completely new. You can see my fingerprints right there from touching it. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to set this up. Uh, I'm gonna put the base on, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this on camera because like I might have to figure out like how to actually put it on. So, but once I get that on, I'll show you what it looks like. I'm not gonna do it uh, vertically. I mean, I'm not gonna like put it on so like, so like you can see where it stands up. Like if you go to back to the first clip because I'm actually not going to uh, set this up like so like it's standing up because you know, I have a cat in my house and I don't want her knocking down everything. So I'm just gonna have it set up just like I do with the PS4 where it's just like laying down. And yeah, so I'm gonna get this on and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so. Uh... As you can see here, we did get the PS5 hooked up and everything. And now all I just gotta do is push this button in three, two, one. Wow. It sounds exactly the same as the PS4 does. So let's see what pops up on this TV screen. And look at that. So as you can see, it's like normally as you turn on your PS4, just the PS logo comes up. Wow, okay. Let me get my remote so I can turn this up. I have this on mute right now. Look at that. That was cool. Alright, so now we are, it is plugged. Okay. I gotta turn this on. Okay, there we go. So English so uh language is gonna be English obviously. So please wait. Alright. Network. So I'm just gonna set this up later. I just want to show you guys like everything so display area all right so if you have a continue without disk uh time zone eastern time and then power options for rest mode always apply the latest updates be sure to save your game uh continues i'm going to put this on optimized so because like so i can charge my controllers and everything and, and like download games uh terms of agreement i agree so account. I'm just gonna name this Mason for now. I'm gonna have to sign up with my PlayStation account as well too. Okay. And then uh, confirm and continue. Welcome to Wow. All right. So you see, I literally got nothing on here. So. I'm going to continue to set this up. So obviously you have the uh, PlayStation Store. I, it's, it, it says I'm offline because I'm not connected to my uh, Wi-Fi yet. Astro's Playroom, which I guess is just like, I guess it shows you how to like actually use the PlayStation and then Media Gallery and Game Library. So a lot here. Uh, I'm going to have to set this up and I will be back once I get everything set up. All right, guys. So as you could see, I got everything set up. I logged in with my account. It says you can see my profile and everything. And uh, yeah, and I'm currently installing a game right now, MLB The Show 20. And I like how like you, every time you hover over a game, like you can hear like the game audio in the background. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Like Astro's Playroom.
and uh yeah so i i just have to download some games i'm gonna be downloading games like mlb the show 20 which i'm currently doing right now uh cold war i'm gonna be doing later in minecraft maybe if i have time well well minecraft would only take like two seconds it takes like two seconds to download minecraft so and then i just gotta download cold war which i mean i'll probably do tonight or overnight i don't know yet depending on what i if i'm gonna play it today or not but i'm downloading one game right now just so i have something to play uh for a little bit and uh yeah so it's very new i mean it's i mean it's it's still a playstation but i mean there's, there's a lot of stuff i have to get used to uh it's very different from the ps4 menu you know uh a lot of stuff is in different places like the playstation store is very different so you got like your games and like you have to go up here to like scroll over stuff so it's it's going to take a little bit to get used to but i think eventually it won't be that hard uh also on this uh since i did get cold war i did get it on my ps4 but i did get the cross gen edition so once i got the ps5 uh i can just download it on here instead of having to pay for it again which i would not want to do and uh also share factory is different as well so it's very different uh I can't open it. I don't know. I, I, I guess I have to download it, but I'm not going to do that right now. Maybe that'll be for like another video. I, I don't know yet. But if you do want to see uh, the campaign for Cold War, which I have not played it, I was going to wait to get to the PS5 just so I could play the uh, campaign, just so I have the full graphics and everything. If you do want to see the camp, uh, like a gameplay of the campaign where I do like a series of me uh, completing the campaign, I will do that. Uh, just let me know if you guys want to see it. Also, I'm going to be getting Valhalla uh, for this console. It might be, like, if I want to do, like, a gameplay video for it, it might be after Christmas. So, uh, if you do want to see me uh, do gameplay where I uh, complete the story mode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I will. Uh, MLB The Show, I mean, I'm not really going to film anything for that. This is just a game I play, like, by myself independently. As you guys can see right there, I did get a platinum trophy for it. So, that's good. And, yeah, I mean, there's nothing really else to see. Like, you got PlayStation Now, which I probably won't be using because I don't want to play any games. Like, it's just, like, like this is just games, like, where you could play from, like, the PS3 and stuff, which I'm not going to be doing. And you can also play other games as well, but, I mean, I'm not going to be doing that. So, I'm not going to be buying PlayStation Now. I did buy it before to get uh, Batman, uh, the Batman game. I'm not going to... Uh, game playstation now though and uh yeah media gallery remote play so i could and and on the ps4 like there's a app called ps5 remote play which i will be i i'm probably gonna be trying that out that might be in or out of the video i'm not sure yet but i'll probably make another video on that if you do want to see that and the game library this is just all my games like minecraft cold war mlb rogue company i i don't even know why madden's up here but yeah, just all my games that I have, and I can't download Fortnite, so, I mean, but who cares, I'm not gonna play Fortnite. Yeah, there's some games I cannot play. They're locked, as you can see, they're probably not compatible with this, like, Lego, like, like I have to play that on my PS4. Yeah, there's some games that you can't play on here, but they're just, like, old games that I don't play anymore, and, and there's some that I need PS uh, Now to play, which I played some games on PS Now. But I could download MLB The Show 18 if I want. That's interesting. So, yeah, a lot of games I could uh, install here. But, I mean, I'm not going to install all these games in the library right now. Because I have no intentions of playing most of them. Like, I'll, I'll install Minecraft and Cold War. Maybe Rogue Company. I don't know. Probably not. I'm going to say probably not to that. So, yeah. But there are some games that i'm going to be installing on here tonight and this is actually almost done so 99 percent complete i hope that just means uh oh i could actually okay it's ready to play but i mean i might not be able to do multiplayer features but yeah so i mean this is really it for the ps5 uh a lot of the show here like the controller is different like 
charger and everything. And this is actually the PS4 charger, which, I mean, I forgot to show, but this is the PS4 charger. And here's my PS4 controller right here. That's the charger for it. And this is way different, so... Yeah, uh, but anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this unboxing. Uh, let me know if you guys uh, get uh, to get a PS5 yet, and if so, uh, let me know how you uh, like feel about it. Like, do you think it's good, or like, would you rather play on the PS4? Honestly, I would rather play on this for now. But I mean, if I want to like go places with it, I'm not gonna take that up. I'm gonna take up my PS4, obviously. So. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about if you did get a PS5. Uh, they're very; these were very hard to get. Like I'm, I, like I'm as like like honestly, I'm surprised I'm sitting here right now making this video. But yeah, so th I think that's all I gotta say for this. Uh, if you do want to see those gameplays where I do play the Cold War campaign and I play Valhalla, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll most certainly do uh, walkthroughs on those and. Yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, video of me unboxing the PS5. And you see right there is the box. I also did get a new chair as well, also today. So that's good because the old chair I had was falling apart. But yeah, so enough of that. And I'm going to uh, end the video right here. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.